southern white rhino throughout the world. The gene pool comes from this park. It is a species which has got huge importance um, in the conservation world. I mean, it's just a great privilege to work in this park. Historically, we've always, we've always been trained to deal with bushmeat poachers, warthog, impala, using assegais, maybe, maybe bush knives, etc., snares. In 2011, um, the dynamic changed because international syndicates were becoming involved, and I think the scourge of rhino poaching migrated south from the northern parts of, of Africa, where the rhino had been wiped out. This is what we, we call the HIP nerve center. This is where our intelligence gathering uh, base is. They're all linked to the internet and they, they send their photographs directly to the nerve center. So we know exactly where the camera is, where the photograph comes from. Um, and we can react very, very quickly. So they are deploying, but we know where, we, we know where the problem is. Um, and they just need to get there very quickly. This recent helicopter deployment now has taken eight minutes from receiving the call to deployment. And it'll take them another seven minutes to get to where they're going. Without the technology, it would have probably taken in the region of two hours. It would be too late. Where we were losing between 10 and 15 rhino a month, that has stopped completely. I've been a conservationist for many, many years. My great-grandfather was a game ranger in this park and the preservation of the white, southern white rhino is critical. We cannot allow it to disappear. It would just be too awful to, to contemplate. <laughs> 